It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Lions and the Buccaneers. And it comes your way next. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? and off we go here in Tampa. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Detroit! Josh Reynolds, 76 yards. And the Lions are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. 
Leading them out is the Austin, Texas native at quarterback. It's Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. And a short pickup to about the 25. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up second and seven. From the gun, Mayfield. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. He completes it right side of the lane. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now a third and six. To throw, Mayfield. That is caught. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. Let's just call it as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll go up the middle with White. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six from the 10. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Mayfield now able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Bucs are going to be set up for the first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Well, you have to be aware defensively that you've got two goals because obviously you're trying to prevent the touchdown, but you're also trying to keep it from getting a first down as well. That time they weren't up to the task, and it's first and goal. Now Mayfield. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Bucs are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy hit a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Yeah. 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Detroit. Josh Reynolds. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Lions have taken the lead. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, here's Tompkins. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Baker Mayfield leading the Buccaneer offense out for another series. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Here's third and seven. Here's Mayfield. And under the Lions pressure, he's brought down. Aiden Hutchinson drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. 
Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as the tackle is made at the 28-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Goff on first down. That pass caught. It's Williams. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Throw out wide is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Second and ten. Mayfield to throw it. His throw here is incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. This time they stay on the ground. And they will bottle him up behind the line and now will they use a timeout. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. <laughs> Jake Camarda sent on now to punt this away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And the Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with a 21-7 lead already in their hip pocket, probably not a time to get too creative or inventive here. We'll see. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward.
from all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. Taken down at the 42. Give him four yards there, and that should be the final play of this first half. A gain of four. It's now second and six. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. possession ball game as we get back underway set for the third quarter and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 the Bucks offense set to begin this third quarter as they begin their second half here Charles offensively you know not where they want to be obviously they're losing in this ball game but very much within striking distance we'll see what adjustments they make in the second half is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? Which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard. But they're definitely opportunities now. Because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it. And I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. They go with White on the counter. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It was Charles Harris getting in there behind the line. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. They give to White on the option. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They stay on the ground with White. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 46, here's the second and nine. They run straight ahead here with White. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
Mayfield. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 39. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing Mayfield. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Now he's got it. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. White. Bowling his way into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. That one in the box as a 12-play drive. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. This defense really clamping down. They're losing the game still. This second half has been there. And they're winning it. They always equate it to being a boxer. And you, you, whenever you see a good fight, the guy who is on his toes and doing the punching, that's the guy who's winning. And that's the way they're going at it defensively now. Much more aggressive in their calls, much more aggressive in their pursuit. Golf. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up and let it go. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. 
Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Fielded at the 20. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So Mayfield and the Bucs down 21-14. 2.16 to play. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. Houghton brings it in over the middle. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I think we're both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Mayfield to throw. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 28. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Here's first down. Mayfield. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Here's Baker. This is right on the screen. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. And he's going to have the Bucs first down by a good three yards as they convert on fourth and five. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Now Mayfield. Gets the check down throw to right. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Now second and four. Mayfield. This will be caught. He's into the end zone, so they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. McLaughlin for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That 
time a nine play drive and the touchdown and PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. This one all we could have asked for all tied final minute as the kicks away here. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up the chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. So the Bucks going to have a chance to go down and win it. They'll get the ball first here in overtime. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Mayfield looks to throw. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially at a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. A first down throw for Mayfield. And a catch right side by Evans. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Offensively, back-to-back, -back, really nice plays. This defense have got two timeouts, maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here. To... And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Aiden Hutchinson picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Mayfield. And he is caught. And he's taken down inside the 30. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. Puts him in field goal range, but let's face it. They don't want three here. They want 
six. Well, you do these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. Mayfield on first down. Throw left side, hauled in by Otten. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. White will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. And I know you with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Another chance to maybe end it right here. This is third and goal. They'll try and run it with White. And this time he is in. So he's able to take it in from three yards out. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. And McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now a first throw here in overtime. St. Brown on the catch. Loose inside the 30. Amon Ross St. Brown. Touchdown, Detroit. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Badgley on for the extra point. He's got it. This thing's turning a bit wild here. We're tied at 28. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. 
A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And Barton has a former defensive back. I'm not know much a physical reaction. Watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Here's Mayfield running the option right. Oh, but a great tackle there. Going to hold him to no gain as the clock runs. One overtime, how about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Here's second and ten. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. And this is caught by Evans. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. This now a third and four. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. The branding from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. 64 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And tough sledding. They'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with right. And he is going to have a box first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where the low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. First down, here's White, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Overtime with two minutes to play. We are in sudden death, but still all tied up. They've got second and 12 from the 36. They keep it on the ground, wide again. Well, they're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run found his spot. He picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. And we're going to get another timeout called by the Lions. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good. And they have won it here in double overtime. That was an excellent. 
excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaw.